Are you currently studying for your Cisco CSENT or CCNA certification? Well, today I'm going to give you what I personally think are the five most important commands you should know when studying for these certifications after this. If you're like me and studying for your CCNA or any other IT certification, make sure and check out Pluralsight with over 5,000 different IT courses to offer and key tools such as mobile content and practice exams, Pluralsight is one of the leading IT e-learning platforms. Use the link in the description to receive a free 10-day trial. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode from IT Career Skills where we give you advice and insight on how to grow your career in the IT field. My name's Dakota, and today I'm going to give you what I think are the five most important commands you can know when studying for your Cisco CSENT or CCNA certification. So with that said, let's dive right on in. So when you first log into your Cisco router or switch, you're going to start off in what's known as user mode with a prompt that looks like this. Cisco routers and switches have two very different modes where only certain things can be shown or certain things can be changed. Being able to move between these modes is critical to successfully configuring your router or switch. So from here, let's type enable to move into privilege mode. You can tell now that we are in privilege mode by the little hash symbol after your device's name. In privilege mode, you can show about anything, but you can't make any changes. To make changes to your router's configuration, you need to enter the configure terminal or config T for short. Here, you can change global parameters such as an IP address for an interface or VLAN. This is where the real fun begins. But before we can start making any changes, we need to see what our current running configuration is. So let's exit. And let's issue the show running configuration command. This command gives us a complete readout of the device's current running configuration. So from here, we see things such as our configuration for our individual interfaces. So with that said, let's go ahead and configure interface fast ethernet zero zero. So let's go ahead and go back into the configuration terminal. And now let's configure interface fast ethernet 0-0. And one quick little tip you can do is you can start typing out your command and hit the tab key. That will actually fill in as far as it can possibly fill in for you. Now we have told the router that we would like to configure interfaces fast ethernet 0-0 and now we can enter our configuration. So one thing we saw earlier up here is that this interface is currently shut down. So let's go ahead and turn this interface back on. We're going to issue the no shutdown command. And we know that command was accepted because we have no error. And then we see right here on the next line, fast ethernet 0-0 change to status up. So now if we exit out of here, and exit one more time back to our privilege mode. And we issue the show run, short for show writing configuration. We're gonna see right here, now on interface fast ethernet 0-0, it is no longer shut down. Now it has no IP address associated with it and a lot of the other default settings are still set. So there's a lot more to be done, but that's for another video. Now I'm going to show you one last command here that I think is one of the most important and I think sometimes the most forgotten command where I'm going to show you how to save all these changes to their actual memory in case of a power outage or a device reboot. That is the write memory command. This command will save the configuration that is currently being modified in RAM, also known as the running configuration, to the non-volatile RAM, NVRAM. So if the power is lost, the NVRAM will preserve the configuration. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you guys know, I am currently studying for my Cisco CCNA certification, and I figured I'd just put out a little video that hopefully will help you guys in your studies for your Cisco certification. 
Again, if you guys like this video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe because I'm going to be releasing tons of more videos like this. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you again for tuning in and until next time, take it easy.